I did not think it was possible to live up to the hype after, and now into the eighth season, we finally get it. The dragons, Jon Snow, the Night King, the White Walkers, just boom, colliding head to head at Winterfield, Winter, Winterfield, Winterfell. If you didn't have enough time to prepare all day, they did give you a few minutes at the beginning to chill. Sam deciding if he's going to fight or go into the crypts. He decides to fight. Bran heads to the tree with Theon and a few with a small crew of men. Tyrion does head to the crypts, and then Malisandra shows up, you know, just shows up right before the battle, lights up the Dothraki, you know, spits out some Lord of Light bullshit, gets all them lit up, gets them fired up, they charge, starting the battle right there, you know, maybe five to ten minutes at the most into the episode. Boom, we are officially off the Dothraki charging in, marching like a bunch of madmen. In under a minute, all their flames were distinguished. They were showing shots from atop the castle. From Jorah's point of view, you saw not that they had swords, but fewer and fewer swords lit up until there was total darkness. Jorah returns, a few horses, a few Dothraki on foot, but at this point, not looking good. Sansa decides to bail. She gets a, she gets the point. She sees what's up. Has a talk with Terry and realizing, look, we got it. We got to admit, we can't do anything. We're in the crypts for a reason. I just saw what happened out there. A lot of sad faces in the crypts at this point. John and Danny got to get a change of plans. They did not want to go out into the field. The Night King has brought in some kind of big ice cloud at this point. John and Danny are on the dragons, trying to hit the pack. They get confused. They take out some. Not enough though. They decide to pull back, but not before Ed. Ed is our first major death, 25 minutes into the battle at this point. They pull back to Winterfell, trying to get to the trenches. Grey Worm can't decide if he wants to fight, if he wants to get back. He's torn. He wants those trenches lit. Davos is trying to get the trenches lit. Daenerys is not able to see the warning or the signal to light the trenches. Finally, Melisandre coming in and saving the day a little bit. You know, her little Dothraki thing didn't go as planned. But she does get the trenches lit. Not too bad. We get a little bit of a break about 30 minutes in. Go down to the crypt for a breather. Santa and Tyrion talk. Masande a little bit on the chip. Gets in a word with Sansa. Bran goes full raven on Theon. And all right, we're back to the battle. The Night King, he figures out what to do with the trench. He gets a bunch of his dummy whites just to walk, pile up. At least just take out one spot of the trench. Open up a spot. By this point, the hounds got shell shocked. The battle's getting to him. Arya's going off, killing people left and right, killing whites left and right. Lyanna gets killed. Oh, Lyanna, she's standing at the gate. She's mouthing as they're trying to pull back. Uh, a zombie giant gets through the gate, grabs Lyanna, squeezes her. She did have a piece of dragon glass with her, is able to get the giant with the dragon glass. But as we lose Lyanna, rest in peace there, Lady Mormont. She takes the giant out, which was a key. You know, that guy was looking effective, quite honestly. He was going to take Winterfell out with a few more swings. So then we get a dragon battle. We got Jon and Danny versus the Night King. Nobody can really see anything. We get a dragon crash. We got Jon Snow on foot. We got Jon versus the Night King on foot. He's coming. Danny gets away. And then that fucking Night King right here. This is when the tables really start to turn. If, you know, if they weren't there at the fallback, he raises the dead. They all start to come back. All the fallen in battle. The crypts turn. Lyanna and Ed turn. John surrounded. Everybody's pretty much surrounded at this point. Daenerys and John somehow they're they're battling it out with the dragon still. You know, Danny's uh now Danny's on foot. She comes in, rescues John as he's surrounded. When the white when uh, the Night King raised everyone, John was surrounded. But being a Targaryen, he can take the dragon fire. She clears the path for her, although her dragon is now surrounded, has to bail. Danny's on the ground. Here comes Jorah to save the day. So John's on his way to try to catch Bran before the Night King gets there. Arya, the Hound, Beric Dondarrion, somewhere in here, they're all in trouble trying to get away. Melisandre once again has words with Arya reminding her of the last time they spoke, talking about the blue eyes, the green eyes, the red eyes, whatever, whatever she's got to do. Arya takes off. We don't know if Beric's dead or not. I don't know. Was Beric dead or alive at this point? Everybody is swarmed. Theon and Bran are swarmed. Jorah and Daenerys are swarmed. Jon's cornered by a dragon breathing some kind of ice fire at him. Finally, the White Walkers and the Night King make their way to Theon and Bran. Just about everybody's dead. Theon's going out like a warrior, though. Bran gives him the nod, tells him he's a good man. Letting Theon die with, with some honor. Theon charges the Night King. The Night King counters. Boom, down goes Theon. 
Night King getting a little cocky, goes up, wants to eyeball Bran a little bit. I don't know what's going on there. Bran's staring him down, not wanting to flinch. And then, boom, here comes Arya. Not today. There's the blue eyes that she took out. When the Night King goes down, they all go down. She got him with the dagger, of course. Even the little move that we saw in a previous season, we knew that dagger was going to be crucial. Bam, takes out the Night King. Rest in peace, Jorah, although he saved Daenerys. Looks like Jorah went down. Sam, we do not know. John was looking back. Couldn't decide between Sam and his brother. Saving everybody. Left Sam there on the ground, but was the Night King killed in time to save Sam? I'm saying yes. Jorah gone. Barrack, not looking good for Barrack. And then finally, perhaps one of the heroes of the episode, Melisandre, walking off, dropping the choker, dropping the red gown, turning back into that 5,000-year-old gray-haired woman. Boom. End of episode. It lived up to the hype. Whew. Now all I got to do is take out Cersei. Boom, boom. Thumbs up on that one.